whether you are a newbie coach or a seasoned coach who's wondering, there's so many people rushing to build a website. Is website even something that's necessary for my coaching business? Can I just build an online social media presence and send all the traffic to my social media? In this video, we're going to tackle that one crucial question a lot of coaches out there having. Do I actually need a website? Is website going to do anything for me? And plus, I'm going to show you how to leverage your website to actually boost your online visibility. And these are the five things that you're going to know before you spend tons of money to invest on your website. to me, I'm Michelle and I am a visibility and marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to simplify your social media marketing so that you can get seen, get hurt and get paying clients so that you can turn this passion for coaching into a profitable business. If you like to become a profitable full-time coach and you have not subscribed to this channel yet, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you get a notification every time I put out a new video. If you have a topic that you would like me to cover, also comment down below, let me know what would you like me to cover so I can actually make a video just for you. Here's a question I came across in my community the other day. Someone was asking, what is the actual value of having a website? Why do I see so many people obsessed in building their website, having a website, but what does it actually do for my coaching business nowadays? And do I even need to have one? Can I just use my social media profile as a website? Like what's going on? Michelle, explain this to me. So today we are going to tackle that very same question. You might be someone who's already built a beautiful website. That's great. Congratulations. Kudos to you on taking a head start. But you might be someone who's new to the game and you're just not quite sure whether or not you need to have that website. And what is that website even going to do for you? I'm going to cover the five essential things before you're actually thinking about investing your coaching website. And these are the things that I have learned on my journey. And believe me, when I say I have learned, I really have learned after spending $250 on my first website and spending an arm and a leg investing on a pretty expensive and luxurious website and only to find out that there are certain things just didn't click. And so today I'm going to compile that list of what actually need to happen before you invest in your coaching website. And these are the things that I have learned, what I have realized that I needed before I put that investment in. Lesson number one is you want to set a clear goal for your website. You got to ask yourself, what do you want your website to achieve for you? Now you're putting up a lot of great content out there, and this is a website that's going to do it all. And hopefully it's doing a lot of the heavy lifting for you by sharing it. So whether you go to an in-person networking event or you're posting on social with your website and you're inviting your visitors or followers to, to go and check out your website, there's something that you have in mind what your website wants to do for you. Now, when I ask my community member, most of them are saying, well, I want people to book a call with you. Now, majority of the time, I would say 80% of your visitor who come to your website, they're going to see and open up this beautiful website and it's very aesthetic. It's down to where you're liking. Maybe you got the color scheme all figured out. You got the written copy all figured it out. But when you're not clear about the goals that you want to accomplish on this website, you may have button displays all over the place and it's not going to get you that booking client. Why? Because booking a client involves understanding the client's journey, where they are, and what are they looking for when they land it on your website. So is booking more client more important to you at this point? Or is having a uh, group coaching that's more important to you? Or do you just want to use your website to uh, establish your authority? Do you want to build a community? What is it that you want to accomplish with this website is going to determine where your button is going to display and how do you take your visitor to land onto that that button. Setting a clear goal is like having a destination in mind before you even set the sale. So you wanted to sit down and identify what is your goal for this website? What do you want your website to do for you? And that is going to be the number one step before you even think about investing a coaching website. Lesson number two is you want to have a niche and also a target audience. Inc 
a lot of coaches, including myself, when I first came out of coaching program, I realized I just want to share my passion, share the world. And I remember I rushed to hire somebody to put up a website for me without really understanding who my audience were and what is my niche. So as you can imagine, the messaging was unclear. It was scattered. It was all over the place. And I remember each page that you land on, it's just kind of feeling separated by itself. But it did the job. It did the work. I was able Able to send my followers to the website and they, I got some booking on the website and it was doing the job for me. However, if you really want your website to be this giant magnetic hub, then you really need to identify who you're talking to, your audience, and what is your niche. So defining your coaching niche and knowing who your target audience is kind of almost like non-negotiable when it comes to building that website. Because you don't want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars only to find out that the messaging is still scattered and it is still off. This clarity is going to tailor your blog content, everything that you display on your website. It's going to be more aligned to what is it and how you're going to serve your audience. And if you're someone who really needed to clarify your niche and identify your audience, I created a five steps to attract paying clients in your coaching business resource. I will share the link down below this video so that you can grab a copy of it. Inside that download, you're going to find step-by-step -step process of how do you set it up so that you have a messaging that is clear, understandable, that is related to your audience and what they're going through. And it's going to help you to streamline a lot of your ideas that's floating around in your mind. So I'll share that link in the description box down below that you can grab a copy. Okay. So moving on to lesson number three, you want to identify a personal brand and your designer, your website designer is going to thank you for this because a lot of time the website designer, when you hire them, they probably either are expert in building website, they're great in technology, but they don't have the personal branding aspects of the things. So they couldn't really tell you what elements need to be present so that your brand would stand out. So lesson number three is all about your personal brand. And this is what sets you apart in the sea of all these coaches. It is your style, your voice, your unique approach to how you serve your clients. By infusing your personal brand into your blog post content, your website, and your messaging, it's going to make your content more enjoyable, more relatable, and also more memorable. And how you begin um, developing a personal brand is starting by identifying your core message. So inside that download I mentioned earlier, you also have an opportunity to identify your core message so that your audience can be clear in terms of what you're about and who you're serving and what. And that is the first and most important step in identifying your personal brand. Now, moving on to lesson number four, it's to plan your website and your blog content. Now that you have your clear goal of what you want this website to do for you, and you know exactly who this website is for, what your niche and where's your market. And plus you have a personal brand that is memorable, that echoes your mission in the air and not just whisper. The next step is to create content for your website. Now, one thing I see a lot of coaches make mistakes is they have this beautiful website, but they're not really leveraging it and driving the traffic to this website. So it becomes something that just on the virtual world collecting dust. So one of the things that I encourage all my students inside the Profitable Coach formula is that we don't just want to create a website or create a messages. We want to make sure that everything that we create and put it out into the world serves a purpose, serves a reason. And that reason is to drive the traffic so that they can keep coming back for more of the resources that you are offering and putting out out there. So it's not just about what you have on your homepage or your service page. It's really about the resources that you're providing to your audience, whether or not they can find more by just reading your blog posts or maybe watching your videos and anything that you put out becomes the content that is actually going to educate. It's going to inspire and it's going to help them to solve a problem. And so that your visitor, your audience will keep coming back for more. And this also tells Google that your site is actually worth paying attention to, which bring us to lesson number five. Lesson number five is to start writing and creating content 
on your own property. One of the things I, I personally really believe in is you can spend all your time on social media, but what really drives the revenue and profit is ultimately something of your own, something that belongs to you. Now you can build your full-time coaching business just purely on social media via Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn, but ultimately those are built on rental property. One day these social media can shut down or it may not work or you are at the mercy of the algorithm. Sometimes your posts get seen and sometimes it doesn't. What I would encourage you to do is consider your website and your blog as the permanent asset of your coaching business. This is something that you own it and you decide when do you want to show it and how do you want to display it and where do you want your audience to go on their next step. So lesson number five is really important because you want to start writing and creating content on your own business asset. As you're diving into writing your blog post and speaking to your audience and showcasing your personal brand, you want to build a consistency. And consistency is really the key to whether your audience can expect to find an article every single week, or maybe it's a Google search engine. It wants to pick up the fact that you are creating content and these are content are being reviewed, being looked at and being shared. So regular update on your website is very crucial, but a lot of coaches do not do. When I go to your website, I don't wanna see something that's like from 10 years ago or five years ago, and you have not updated ever since. So regular updates is really important and it's going to help you to also to boost your visibility for your website. And your website becomes your 24 seven salesperson that's just floating around out there on the internet and the people are going to stumble upon it. Those who search for it, are going to stumble up on it because you're providing resources and it's up to date. So keep your page updated. And so if there's any link that's broken, you wanted to go back and fix it. If there's any content that had changed, you also want to go back and change it. All these are regular updates that you want to do in your business so that your website is just not sitting there collecting dust. I mean, after all, you spend thousands of dollars putting up this beautiful website, you want the website to do something for you. One of the big lessons that I have learned over the years in my own business is that Google has a really soft spot for the website that has been around for a while. And this is how search engine optimization work. If you have a website that's been out and it's constantly producing valuable content over time, it's going to rank a lot higher on the Google search just naturally by itself without you spending any ad money. Now think about this, instead of spending ads money on Facebook ad, LinkedIn ad, or Google ad, if you do these five steps well, then your website will become this client attraction magnet just by itself because that's what Google search engine will do because it's highly valuable, it's reliable source where good information are being displayed. And so over time, you're going to see that increase of traffic just naturally because people are looking for answer. And this is another reason why you want to make sure that your content creation is consistent so that Google search engine will continue to pick up providing these resources to those who are searching for answers. Okay. So after all this, you're probably wondering, okay, Michelle, this is great. You know, I learned the five things that I need to know before I invest in working on a website, but this website even still work. Absolutely. It still does. But like I said, step number one is you want to make sure you have a clear goal. You don't want to have a website. And this is one of the mistakes I have made in the past. My whole idea and my whole intention about having a website is so I want people to book a call with me. But the reality is 80% of the traffic who come to your website, most of them will bounce. So you need to have a way of attracting them and keeping them in your world. And by doing so, you're building and increasing your leads and this is a mistake that I have made in the beginning of my coaching business journey where I wasn't even clear about what do I want this website to do for me. So when I created the website, there was a lot of different buttons. I want to share this. I want to share that. And when you are scattered and you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you probably feel your messaging is scattered or maybe you're not getting the uh, paying client coming into your coaching business. And this is why we started out by identifying your goal. Having a goal to the website 
is really important because then you want to think about if 80% of the traffic that's coming to my website is going to bounce, they're going to leave and never come back. What is it I want to do with them in terms of how do I provide more resources for them? And that is going to allow you to think about maybe I need to create a lead magnet that's going to be helpful to them that they are willing to exchange that for an email address so I can continue to serve them in the long run. So if you're thinking about creating a website and you're driving the traffic to your website, you need to really think through this in order for this website to work for you. So number one, before you do any investment, and nowadays you can find uh, someone who built your website anywhere from $250 to $2,500 to $6,000. There's a wide range of what you can accomplish with the website. So before you put any money down to invest, I want you to think about what is your goal? What do you want this website to do for you? And do you have that message clear and dialed in so that Everything, all the content and all the copy that's written on that website is going to drive the traffic to click on that button, whatever that button may do for you. And if you need help and support on that, I do have a free resource that you can download and grab in the description box down below. It's five steps to attract your paying client in your coaching business. And inside that copy, I walk you through the five steps of what do you need in order to create a messaging that actually attracting your business and why is it important to have that messaging so that when whatever that you put out into the website is going to be clear and resonate with your audience. And we also talked about having your personal brand if your messaging is not clear, chances are you don't have really have a personal brand developed yet. And that would be important because you don't want that misalignment between your message and the visual. Because if you want your brand to be memorable, then personal brand is really powerful, especially moving into this new year. You need to know that human aspects behind a business. So having a personal brand is like your superpower that's out there and people can connect with you, resonate with you better. And once you have all these three steps done, then the next step is to actually start sitting down and create content. By creating your content and do this early, what you're essentially telling Google search engine is that, hey, I'm creating valuable content here and these are the things that people will be looking for. And this way, your Google search engine can actually pick up your website more often than not. And this is going to send a signal to the Google search engine that, hey, you know, I'm creating valuable uh, piece of content here. And so that it's going to help you to actually naturally attract more visitors coming to your website. And so you really got to think through what this website wants to do for you. Does it work? Yes, absolutely. And I highly recommend that if there's any chance that you don't like social media and you really want to build and scale that coaching business, I would highly recommend that you consider having a website or at least just having a blog section so that you can display your authority, your expertise, and be sure to think about and have a way of capturing those leads so that they do not bounce and go off to someone else and never come back. And there you have it. This is your blueprint and your roadmap to make sure that you not only have a coaching website, but you actually have a coaching website that works as hard as you do. And leveraging your blog, leveraging your content, whether it's blog posts or video, it's not just about throwing the words onto the page. It's really about strategically creating these valuable content that would allow you to align your goal. What do you want your audience to do after they consume this content? And you'll be able to speak to them and relate to them to their experience so that they will want to actually click on that button, whichever button that you decided that you want this button do. Maybe it's joining your newsletter, maybe it's signing up to your course, or maybe it's just simply booking a call with you. All these information that you put out onto the website, it's really important. You want to make sure that you dialed it in and you want to make sure you identify your goal and you want to do this early in your business so that the Google search engine can actually pick it up and drive the traffic for you to your website. If you find this information helpful, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button because that is the only way that I will know to create more content like this to help you to thrive in your coaching business. And don't forget to comment down below with your thoughts or your questions. That's make your coaching website something that's just impossible to ignore. Until next time, keep coaching. Bye for now.